friends, this is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and I typically don't make shit videos, but one of the things that I do want to do is see if I can provide value to the greater Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes universe, to my fellow players. And with that in mind, what I want to do is answer the question, or hopefully address the question, is the Ebon Hawk worth it? Is it worth farming out? Is it worth grinding? Now, the actual event is coming to a close. We only have a few hours from the making of this video, which means by the time I've actually got to post it, forget about it. The event's going to be over. The chase is going to be over. And what that means is you are left with 20 plus days of trying your luck for the clandestine cargo pack. Now that is 1,299 crystals. Now I don't know about you guys, but I don't have that just lying around. At, going free to play has been the most difficult thing that I've done in a very long time, guys. It's like, it, it's like going cold turkey. I kinda wanna go cool turkey, which if you've read any Stephen King books, specifically like The Dark Tower, great book. It's where you don't stop using, you just slow down for a bit. You know, I'd like to slow down for a bit. But no, I've gone cold turkey and it sucks. I don't have that kind of those kind of crystals just lying around. And with the whole Revan meta in the arena, it is unlikely that I'm going to get them anytime soon. So, I don't know. who Who's going to be getting this? Now... Is it worth it? You're looking at footage of the Ebon Hawk at seven star, completely geared out, completely zated, completely everything, or at least his crew is completely everything. He is a solid ship. I'm running him in a few different places. I've tried him in a few different places. I was able to make the climb against kind of a non-unique, kind of a non-meta ship opponents. I did and was able to face quite a few really good guys that were meta and or meta defining that had some great ships available to them. But it wasn't until I got to the very top, it wasn't until I got to the the higher echelon of the ship arena that I really saw what I believe the meta is. Here's the thing, my math isn't great so please if if my math is wrong correct me in the comments below and and asking for corrections in the comments on a youtube channel i know someone is going to come through and say look that is you were wrong my friend these are the numbers here i'm going to do some math for you guys right i've got your probability of getting of unlocking a a seven star or 330 crystals for the ebon hawk it's not, it's not, the odds are not good. And I know you're like, don't ever tell me the odds, but let's face it, guys, when it comes to like purchasing and strategic planning, when it comes to crystals and stuff, you, you kind of need to know the odds. And so just, just know they're not in your favor. And it is more likely that you're going to get seven shards each time you roll than you are going to get 330 shards the first time you roll which ideally would be awesome and unless i don't know you're part of the escape pod cast you're unlikely to get those numbers back to back i mean it's it's just it's not gonna happen but let's look at the math here right and again my math's a little off so if you're getting seven crystals per turn Right, you divide that by 330. That's 47 attempts to unlock the Ebon Hawk if you're just rolling four crystals. Now, most people were able to, if you were really gunning for him, were able to unlock uh, the Ebon Hawk in this this chase. I didn't get anywhere close to unlocking him. My my Ebon Hawk still is. It's more like an Ebon Egg. It's real small, and it's not really fleshed out, and its pilot kind of sucks because I don't have him geared or anything like that. It's it's kind of sad, really. Um, but let's just round it down. So let's say 40 attempts, right? 40 attempts 
to unlock the rest of the Ebon Hawk, to get the rest of the 330 ship blueprints that you need, right? 40 attempts at $12.99. That is going to cost you 51,960 crystal. That's going to be at least three, maybe four vaults. Each vault's roughly $100. If you're lucky, it will cost you, I don't know, between three and four. That I just can't do, guys. So, but here's the thing. If you do it once, you can probably get into the top of the meta for ships, which isn't a terrible place to be. Now, if you look at the Ebon Hawk's abilities, his kit's pretty solid, right? Basic attack's pretty solid. He is a character that you definitely want to leave in or or have as a as an enter the battle character you don't want him in your starting three it just doesn't make a ton of sense to have him in your starting three i like the chafe ability and you know everyone's gonna say no it's chaff it's chafe he's chafing people i he he's totally chafing people let's face it guys we all know that he's chafing the ebon hawk chafes but I like it. I think that it's it's really cool that it, it removes um, the target lock and allows people to not be target locked. I, I love that. I freaking do. And it really takes down the, oh, the connection or the, the viability of the hound's tooth. And if you've ever looked at the hound's teeth, he, it's not pretty. Right and and probably because his brother messed him up. I don't know, but let's just let's just leave it at that. Now the Ebon Hawk is most viable or only starts to be viable at five star, which means depending on your crystal account, depending on on where he is, really the most vi he only starts to become viable at five star. That's that's the thing that you've got to remember here. And if you're not willing to spend a couple of additional vaults, which means you're not willing to drop some Benjamins, then, you know, you might want to wait. I'm going to hold off because, again, I just don't have the Benjis to, to put down for this. Also, as far as ships go, I don't see much of a need because it's not as crucial. Now, it is possible that with the upcoming content that we should be seeing in the next couple of days, maybe even the next couple of weeks, we could see more of a use for ships, which would then give us more of a reason to farm this. If that's the case, then I do think that those who are maybe, you know, more aggressive minnows and more aggressive dolphins will, if they weren't before, might want to think about investing. I'm not going to say whether you should or not, but if new content related to ships comes out, then I think owning the Ebon Hawk is going to be more viable. And definitely, when the next go around for the Ebon Hawk comes out, guys, when the next ship chase comes out, you better be ready with some additional crystals to, to just farm the ever living crap out of that guy. Because I really do think he's going to be a meta changing crew or a meta changing kit because he is great, but he's only great if you know how to use him and you have him at seven star. He's good at five star. He's great at seven. But what do you guys think? Is he viable? Do you like him? Do you like the kit? Is, are you a fan of ships? And if you are, are you a fan of the Ebon Hawk? Is this what you thought it would be? Do you like the chafing ability? Do you think that it is a solid ability? Do you think more content for ships is coming out? Because I think that there will be more content coming out. I'm just not sure as to when, where, or how it is going to. But there's got to be something in the near future. I really, really would be shocked if they didn't give some ship love to us soon now that being said guys uh, for those of you who caught my earlier video i am running a survey to get some feedback on my channel what you like what you dislike what you would like to see me cover in the future i have a brief survey for anyone who'd be willing to help i really really appreciate all those who've already taken the time to to voice your opinion and again if you're going to be mean at least make it funny because then it's at least fun for me to read. That being said, guys, leave a comment in the section below, like, subscribe, share, 
visit us on goingnerdy.com, visit us on Instagram, Twitter, wherever this nerd can be found. Follow us. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. And as always, my friends, smile. Stay nerdy. Oh, <laughs>